1991 on some of our lobbying delegations because he represented a huge group that was not represented in redress. Did not get his redress. He was denied. He and his family were denied redress. Um, that even though each lobbying trip from 91, 93, 94, 95, each time we'd go back to DC, he or someone from his family would go with us and we would talk about it. It was perhaps the hardest group. And it was probably the hardest group because they weren't US citizens. They were Peruvian and other citizens. And you know, it got overlooked that the US government orchestrated the whole kidnapping and ab abduction. But it was the hardest, I feel, the hardest group to get reparations. Um, so Art worked steadily um, with Campaign for Justice and NCR to try to re get the same reparations that Japanese Americans got. But it was pretty clear by about 1996 that it wasn't going to happen. And that's when um, the lawsuit was organized, a class action lawsuit with uh, meeting people like Robin Toma and Fred Okrand you know, and Paul Mills, all these wonderful people um, with the support of the ACLU. This lawsuit, the Mochizuki case, um, was really, really hoping for that $20,000. One of my last trips to D.C. was to speak in front of the uh, um, Federal Court of Appeals to speak on behalf of a Japanese Latin who had written a testimony that I was going to be able to present because that person couldn't make it to D.C. So I read it in front of the judge and he was very sympathetic he really, you know, um, was very kind, but he said he didn't think it would be able to be passed or it, that he could rule in its favor because of certain legal things and uh, because the way the Civil Liberties Act were written and um, whatever other things he said. But there was an out-of-court settlement, and I believe, and I'm not privy to all the details of how the out-of-court settlement, but I have to say that we had friends in high places to our surprise, a settlement was offered, an out-of-court settlement of $5,000. Art Shibayama, well, that was a huge victory. Okay, that was just amazing because so many of the um, Peruvians were now living in Japan. They were never, they, they ne didn't stay in the US, so they were not ever American citizens. Um, but Art turned it down. He refused it on principles. And so his case came out of the fact that he refused that settlement, he and his brothers, two of his brothers, they filed this court case with Karen Parker, but it was remanded back to the ORA, to the Department of Justice, I believe, to see what remedies could be had. So we were, we're going to find out about that. We don't know when, but Art is still hanging tough. And we, NCR gave him our Fighting Spirit Award last year, um, as you know, just to commend him for the principled position he took and how long he struggled and the injustices he's faced. It's really, really amazing.